Because this guy, this guy said, you have to play my music or I don't come now. Give me the music. Look at those guys back there. Take that door. taking my first Lucha Libre class and you know I'm 34 years old I have a lot of dance performance experience and a lot of singing and acting but no gymnastics and I definitely was the last kid pack picked <laughs> for sports teams so it's interesting to go and try something that it is this hybrid of sport and dance and theater and in these early classes you definitely don't get as much into the theatricality. My sister Audra and I both tried it 
and some of the stuff was definitely scary to try. You, you have to really use the momentum of your body and I feel like a lot of it is about body positioning and certain types of strength. So I tried handstands and I could do those pretty well and tumbling, not so bad, but a lot of the stuff where you had to really position your body a certain way, like jumping over the ropes was definitely really difficult for me. Well, I am a technical. I love, um, well, I like high flying. I love to fly in the air. Well, my name in English is um, wind. So, you know, viento is flying in the wind or flying up high. Uh, my name is La Vista, and I have been uh, practicing with Lucha Libre Volcanica since December, so about six months. Uh, well, I decided with La, uh, to go with La Vista because A, I'm small, and B, it's a relatively fierce character. I didn't want to play into the hyper-feminine uh, sort of character because that's not really me. And I just decided to go with that because uh, it seemed to fit me. And I'm a technica, so uh, a good guy, as it were. And uh, I, I think the name really fits me and how I fight. Okay, I tengo un estimado de dos años practicando. Ya mi nombre pues surgió por medio de pues buscar y buscar hasta que encontramos algo pues parecido a lo que yo soy, cromo. Me gusta, me gusta y es uh, algo con lo cual puedo hacer muchas combinaciones, me gusta el color cromado. Se fue dando el personaje, realmente no, no busqué este personaje, empecé por el nombre y he empezado a trabajar sobre el nombre. Um, I've been a luchador for a little over a year. I started in May of last year, so 2011. I started training here and I made my debut in the following summer. And uh, oh yeah, my name is El Phoenix. Um, I think I'm still kind of figuring it out, actually. Um, I think some of my manners align more with like an anti-hero character, which doesn't seem to be as prominent in Lucha Libre as it does in American Pro Wrestling. But because American Pro Wrestling was an early on influence, I was really influenced by those sort of in-between characters, like Scott Hall and The Rock and Steve Austin. Rudos. These are the bad guys and gals. They'll break all the rules and will yell back at and instigate the audience. Uh, my name is Peligro Jr. and I've been a luchador for a year now. Well, Peligro Jr. is a badass, you know. He's like one of the best, so he tries to carry himself on as being one of the hardest and best luchadores out here. So, you know, that's what I try to do in all my matches and try to give people a good time, too. My name is El Sonico, and I've been wrestling since about September. So far with Lucha Libre, I'm a Rudo, so you know, I'm beating up all the technicals like Viento and stuff. Um, my character is just me, who I am. You know, the name was a tribute to the Sonics, but they're dead now, so. Go Rudos. My name is Chicano, and pues bastantes años. Soy uh, rudo y represento dos banderas, México, la mexicana y la americana. So es por eso que soy el chicano. Y mi personalidad, pues, 
me gusta maltratar a los técnicos. La femenina, the Mexican ideal of womanhood. Women should be demure, self-sacrificing, and serve all the men in their life. See also Marianismo, ideal woman, the Virgin Mary. Challenge her to a match and then show each and every one of you where females do belong and that is in the kitchen. La estudiante que tengo que es la avispa, este, ella uh, es muy ágil y, y no te puedo hablar de otras mujeres porque es la única que tengo, pero en, en México pues hay muchos, muchas mujeres que también son muy ágiles y profesionales y amateurs también. Pero aquí yo espero en el futuro tener más mujeres. El masculino, the Mexican ideal of manhood. Men should be strong, tough, and take any woman they want. See also machismo, ideal man, Don Juan. Uh. My name is uh, Aurelio Tadeo, and uh, I actually just started last month, or I've, I haven't even been here a month yet. I mean, uh, anyone, can, uh, anyone can do Lucha Libre. I mean, people see me and they're like, oh, well, tall, skinny, wears glasses, can't do Lucha Libre. And uh, that's pretty much why I'm here, just to prove them wrong. Oh, little girl, I hate to see you. Weeping like backyard boog and veal You're gonna flip Once I teach you All you'll know is heaven above and beneath Yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah hey. Oh, little girl You're fit to fly If you jump today Like tomorrow And we have a, a little guy here too. You want to yeah, say that's hi? Caleb. Hi. <laughs> All right. So I just wanted to ask you about why you decided to come today to the Lucha Libre event. Our uh, our good friend that we've known for many years is the MC here. She posted about it on Facebook, and I thought that our three-year-old would really have a good time watching the guys jump around. Okay. So my name's Lynn. Hi. And you've come to the Lucha Libre Volcanic event today. And why was that? Is actually performing. So this is your first time seeing Lucha Libre? Yes. And have you seen it like on TV before or anything like that? No. 
Wow, so original experience, awesome. Yes. sisters that are fans of Lucha Libre, that's pretty cool. Yeah. She heard on the radio, that's why, like, she told me, since I want to be a wrestler since I was little, because when I was little, I used to play, put my underwear on my, on my head and throw a towel on the, um, on my, you know, like a cape, jump on the sofa and doing all those crazy things since I was little watching wrestling. Once you hear, like, people's names saying your name, like, it pumps you up so much, like, you know, to keep on going and never giving up. What I enjoy about it, I, I love the workout. I love performing. Um, I love the people here. It's a, there's a real strong sense of community around it. Um, and there's, you build a lot of trust with each other um, because you kind of have to trust each other not to, you know, you have to trust somebody not to kill you uh, a lot of times. My father was a luchador for many years, so I might as I was like, you know, I kind of want to be in this too. And, you know, go in here and show these people what I'm made of anyways. So, you know. And um, I guess what really inspired me was actually coming and practicing and doing all that, so. Do you feel that it appeals to both men and women as performers and spectators? I, I believe so. I, I think that uh, if you love the sport enough, it is a great thing to take up as either a man or a woman. It's, it's a lot of fun either way. And part of the nature of the sport is it doesn't necessarily have to be men versus men, women versus women. There's a little, little more gender equality than, say, in American pro wrestling or what have you. So I, I think it has a wide appeal between both genders. I think the better question is what about it would appeal to women versus men. Uh, what, hmm. the, short, the short answer is yes. Um, there's enough stylistic flair and acrobatics. It's kind of like circus, which, uh, I'm trying to think who actually said that, that circus is all about like sex and death. And I feel like Lucha Libre is pretty similar. Um, and like promotions like Lucha Vibe really, really distill that and quite blatantly. Um, so I think it does have some universal appeal, but it's a pretty, it, it's, a, it's a hard a question to answer. And um, yeah. It's really exciting. It's exciting. It's acrobatic. It's fast paced. It's violent. I mean, he doesn't love violence. Um, I think it just has a, a broad appeal for, in a bunch of different respects. Hola, mi nombre es Felipe Hernández y soy originario del estado de Quintana Roo. Porque la gente se va a divertir, la gente se va a gritar, va a sacar la euforia. La gente quiere saber quién está detrás de la máscara de la persona que ellos oyen o de la persona que ellos quieren. final day of performance, I can see how it would take months and years of training in order to get to that point because there's something about the timing and the rhythm of it that makes it look so easy and so fluid when they do it in the ring, but it's definitely not that way when you start trying it. So. Sonico juice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the weakest plug ever. <laughs>